I have a kind of a fun question for you, just as we're talking about muscles. If you could, only, and I'll, maybe I'll ask this two ways, one for men and one for women. If you could only have 10 exercises for you to do for the rest of your life, and then you had another set maybe for me and the women who are listening, what do you think that those might be? Oh, yeah. So you would have, you would definitely have a squat. You would have a deadlift. You would have some kind of a horizontal press, some kind of an overhead press. You would have some kind of a row. And then I would include a split stance exercise of some sort. It's like a lunge, a Bulgarian split Bulgarian stance squat, something, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I would include some type of rotational movement. I would include some type of a lateral strength training movement like lateral sled drags or a lateral lunge or something that moves side to side. And then, you know, you could actually throw in a couple others that you really enjoy doing. I don't need 10. I really don't need 10 exercises. But, you know, to, to be clear, when I say squat, a squatting movement, there's a lot of exercises that would fall under a squat, right? A yeah, press, yeah. there's a lot of types of presses. An overhead press, a lot of types, a lot of types of rows. But I basically just listed kind of the basic fundamental types of human movement, which would be push, pull, push, squat, split stance, lateral rotation. Like, you know, if you've got those covered, then you're, 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 you're doing well. And do you think that there's any difference for men or women or would you keep them, you'd, you'd equate them agnostic of sex? Yeah, it's generally the same, but what you typically see with women that isn't communicated enough, especially women after they've had children, are special considerations for the TVA, so transverse abdominis. It's the muscle that mm -hmm. that brings in the midsection. So if like you suck in your stomach, that's the TVA. When you have a child, that muscle necessarily stretches and atrophies to make room for baby. And yep. you develop different recruitment patterns. So what happens what, as you're pregnant, especially third trimester, is your, your, your body stabilizes its core differently because of the changing shape of your body and the requirements for the baby. So you start to you start to rely more on hip flexors and erector spinae and other muscles to stabilize. After you have the baby, those muscle recruitment patterns remain unless you start to train back those older patterns. Same thing with pelvic floor exercises. When muscles become atrophied or weakened, whether through injury or necessity, and you 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 develop a new recruitment pattern, you have to train the other recruitment pattern. Otherwise, it will remain with that old one. And then what you tend yeah. to see is women will have kids and they'll be like, man, I used to be able to do these core exercises and now my back hurts or my hip hurts all the time, or I'm not able to activate, you know, everything feels like I can't activate certain like muscles or I have a lower belly pooch. That's an aesthetic thing. Like what's going on? I'm doing abs and obliques like crazy. And it's your, your recruitment patterns change based on their demands. And a recruitment pattern is just how the muscles work together. And you learn that skill. So the example that I like to give is, I like to use this. Uh, if you always ever typed with two fingers, okay, this is how you type. And then I told you to type as fast as you could using your technique versus the proper technique, you would be faster doing it this way until okay. you mastered this technique and then eventually you'd surpass. So you have to relearn a recruitment pattern and then it starts to get better and better. And then now you're using the recruitment pattern that's superior. Yeah, I love that. Hypopressives are, I, mean, I don't know if you, you probably heard of hypopressives for the TVA or just that sucking in motion yeah. and like holding in that sucking in motion is so wonderful for women. I'm so happy that you brought up pregnancy and some of the mechanics. It's actually wild if you look at what happens to a woman's body, like her spine changes, all the organs move out of like out of the way. It's absolutely wild what happens to the physiology and just the anatomical compensa compensations in a woman your, when she's pregnant. Your joints change. Your joints yeah. literally yeah. change. I think physical therapy postpartum should be 100% prescribed and essential. I think you should have mm -hmm. postpartum because you're not going to leave your house in the, those first three months. Anybody who has kids know what I'm talking about. You should have a physical therapist come to your house and do those pelvic floor exercises and do some 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 physical therapy because you end up what ends up happening is you're left with your new learned recruitment pattern that you had from pregnancy with a non-pregnant body and then you wonder why things don't feel the same things hurt like what's going on